Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. It is a sketchbook session where I sketch out a group or an individual species and tell you some awesome and weird or wonderful facts. Today we are going with weird. I'm going to be sharing with you one of the weirdest creatures in the entire ocean, I think. Let alone something that you can find right here on the rocky shore in the UK. Today we are going to be talking about the sea hare. Mm. Now for anyone who doesn't like slugs then you aren't really going to like this species. This species can get to about palm size and really does look like a big brown blobby slug. But it's not actually a slug. It, 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 it's, it's an epithetobranch. A pith a pithophobranch. It's a pithophobranch. It's a, it's not a slug. Slug doesn't have a shell, whereas this guy has a sneaky, sneaky shell right inside of it. It's like a 007 agent, a spy, sneaking into the slug world to bring us all of the spy slug facts. Not massively important if you don't really care about the taxonomy of stuff, but also something that's just really cool to know. To know that there is a shell inside it and it looks like a slug but it isn't, I think it's quite cool. But there are weirder stuff that we need to talk about and to discuss with this species. So, first weird fact, it's a slug, but not a slug. Second awesome thing is that it produces an ink. It's a bit like what a cuttlefish would produce to scare off things and get away. But this ink is bright, bright, purple and will stain stuff <laughs> what it touches it's purple because it eats a lot of seaweeds during its life but particularly i think it gets the stuff for this kind of toxic irritant ink from red seaweeds which kind of gives it a reddy purplish tint and it really is as bright as this and one of the reasons you really should probably want to avoid handling it it's not toxic to us but it is staining and you scare a sea slug it will ink all over you this is such a cool thing and a cool adaptation this means that this big blob just wandering around uh has a way to stop it getting eaten it helps to ward off any predators and lets it just continue its spy seaweed eating non-slug life but there is another reason i think sea hairs are weird and this is really the main reason why I think they are so bizarre is the way that they reproduce. It's just nature. It happens to be a bit weird. So sea hares are um, hermaphrodites, so they're both male and female. It's quite common in the marine world. Why have to go to all the effort of in the sea finding another male or finding another female? Just find another one of your kind and you can have at it. But sea hares do it different. They don't just find a partner and reproduce with them and then go off. They like to do it in a thing called a mating chain. Because why not? This basically means that the sea hares can choose whether they become male or female. And the female will start at the front of the chain and a male will join her at the back of the chain um, and then a female will join that male, and then a male will join that female, and so on and so forth. And this is quite a weird and cool phenomena, and why sea hares get such a weird reputation is because divers and snorkelers and people on the rocky shores will come across these huge piles and chains of sea hares, all creating new life at once. They will then produce about 80 million eggs and lay them on the shore in what looks a bit like spaghetti. And then we will have a lot more sea hares ready and raring to go. So that is my weird facts about this weird brown blob. Um, I think sea hares are pretty cool. They are really, for something that looks so boring, really, because they are just a brown blob, they are pretty awesome. So in summary, are spies for the Apisthobrank world versus the slug world, which I've heard is a dangerous place. They have special weapons 
in the form of a purple ink that will scare off and irritate any predators. Three, they've worked hard being the spy and, you know, making their own weapons. They're also going to play in mating chains because that's just what they do. Okay, so this is a weird video, guys, but some species are weird and I kind of want to share the weird. <laughs> Why not share the weird every now and again? I hope you guys like it. If you like this channel, if you like this idea, check out the rest of my other videos. Subscribe to make sure you are not missing out on learning other weird facts like this. And uh, give me a like if you uh, like this video. And uh, have a great week, guys. See you next time.